Welcome back to Tennis Channel Live. This was our week of doppelgangers. It started Monday. Uh, Jan, Mike, you weren't here for this, but Stan Wawrinka, Zach Efron, thoughts? Okay, I can see that a little bit. <laughs> I, I think I can, I can see the next one. There are some similarities there. Don't be nice. Good. Don't be nice, Jan Michael. It's only the hair. Okay, the hair here. <laughs> just, <laughs> I don't see this one as much, but those two pictures are pretty close, and, and I would never have gotten Chris Daughtry there on that one for James, but good pics of both of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is where they started stepping yeah. up. I mean, guys in the back, you have – that was – Perfect. And then I don't know how you got Jay this. Michael, one. how did you get that? I don't know how I got this one. I think it's the cheekbones and, and maybe the eyes a little bit that, that steered me that way. But <laughs> <laughs> impressive. Know. That was really good stuff. All right, one more. So uh, let's see All who right. our tennis player is today that we're gonna try to find our celebrity look like. Okay. Davis Cup oh, Captain Marty know, Fish. Oh wait, you know this one, right? Who is it? Oh. I'm like, it's out of like Bradley, Bradley Cooper. Oh, it is. Yes. Cooper. I think you're right. Yes. For it's sure, it's right? definitely Bradley Cooper. You're right. In fact, <laughs> definitely. Right. Yeah. I think tennis.com <laughs> actually did a story about this. Did they? Last year. I don't think okay. Marty has a problem with that one, huh, Marty? <laughs> <laughs> Marty Fish, by the way, great golfer. He's a great golfer. Won the great American player, Century Championship. What can't Marty do? Uh, nothing. I guess he can yeah. be a good actor, too. <laughs> or at least look like one. Yeah, a star is born. <laughs> Marty Fish, Bradley Cooper. That's pretty good. good All right, job, that was a good guys. one. Nice yeah, job, Shanda. Good job. I got one. Got I mean, it. one out of seven. That's right not bad. Like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that'll <laughs> that is get you a Major League Baseball hey, contract, maybe. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. All right, uh, time to enter the social net. Yesterday was Roger Federer's birthday. Today, we've got another big birthday, none other than the Rocket himself, Rod Laver. Fantastic. Rod Laver, rock, one rocket rock. amazing champion he is, and even a nicer man. When I first came on tour, I met Rod, and he was the nicest guy to me. I was a little intimidated by meeting him, and I did a few events. We were both with Adidas at the time, and just really enjoyed Rocket Rod's company. Yeah, I think that's what, you know, when you meet him for the first time, especially as a player, he was just so nice, so unassuming. I remember at the airport, Absolutely. and he talked to me, like he had followed me a little bit in awe. I'm like, really? Yes, yeah, here he is. <laughs> Wait. Wait a second, you've seen me play tennis? Yeah, it's, it's Rod, incredible. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Turns 82 today. I mean, you see the stuff there. He won the Grand Slam twice. I mean, but legacy-wise, Jan Mike, I mean, the fact that he's got a, a tournament named after him, and he's got a whole stadium named after him. He does, and very, very much earned, obviously, those those um, are amazing for him and is and going down in history. But I think just the way he treats people now and the fact that he still cares so much about being around tennis, you always see him at events. He makes he does the work. It's not easy to travel, you know, but he's he's always showing up and, and always gracious to everyone. Yeah. And I think he, he still highlights the game. I mean he is a legend, but he still tries not to make it about himself, even when he's at these events. I mean, he's just a quality person and what a credit to the sport. Absolutely. He's on the court, he still hits the ball so well. <laughs> Is that right? That ball comes off his racket so clean, it's ridiculous. It's like, well, I could, wish I could hit a slice like that. <laughs> I, I met him last year at Indian Wells and uh, did a little uh, interview with him. But beforehand, we spoke for like 20 minutes, and he was just normal guy, yeah. very interested in, in discussing the new age of tennis and, and all the young players that are coming. I mean, like you said, very engaged and watches the sport a ton. Yeah, so. one of those guys that absolutely no chip on his shoulder about you know, comparing this or that. He's just excited about our sport and just loves it through and through. And that just, it shines through in him and it's just, it makes him very endearing. Well, happy birthday, Rod, and, and many, many healthy ones still to come. Uh, how about this? Get your tickets right now as our own Hall of Fame legend, Jim Courier, joins Chris Mad Dog Russo for a virtual town hall on August 17th. That's also Jimbo's birthday. The first 450 U.S. eligible responders have their chance to participate. It sounds like a fun event. Uh, they're going to talk about the, the, the state of tennis. What, what, what do you think, Chanda? What's the state of tennis right now? Oh, I think there's a lot to talk about, especially as we get going. The ATP Tour um, is looking to get going as well. We just saw our first WTA tournament conclude. Uh, and as we look towards the U.S. Open and the other tournaments that are trying to be played this year. Plus, overall, I mean, there's a, an, a lot of exciting things about tennis, men and women. Mm -hmm. We've kind of touched on whether those tours can join and yeah. combine. Um, I mean, I think there's plenty of opportunity, and, and it'll be interesting to hear Jim Courier's thoughts on that. Absolutely. I think I agree. I, but I think it, right now our state of tennis is cautious optimism. Mm -hmm. I think we're, we've just proven we can do it in Palermo. Great event held there safely. 
World Team Tennis proved that they can do it safely. So I think that those are some really cautiously optimistic things that we're to look forward to. And I, I love the idea of combining the tours as well. I think that there's a lot of really good things to talk about and the fact that we're returning to, to our sport. Absolutely. Uh, we will look ahead to next week, the draw in Lexington. This is an international event, and it is absolutely stacked. Four Grand Slam champions. You won't believe who Venus is playing first round. We'll let you